The movie begins in a church where we see a young man and an old woman getting married. The priest, Simone, begins to indirectly taunt the groom, claiming that he's only getting married to the pension of an old woman. He also refers to everyone in the room as a criminal. Following that, Simone reveals himself to be a law enforcement officer and quickly arrests everyone in the ceremony, accusing them of fraud. But just then, another officer arrives and takes credit for Simone's work in front of the media and the general public. In the next scene, we're introduced to a girl named Claudia who enters a museum and threatens to destroy an historical painting. She gathers the media and declares that she is an art restorer who has not received payment for her services. And because of that, her business is on the verge of bankruptcy. Therefore, Claudia is forced to rely entirely on her grandmother Bridget's finances to get by. Moments later, her co-workers, Rosanna and Margie, arrive and inform her that her grandmother is in critical condition. Claudia immediately hurries home, only to discover that her grandmother was simply exaggerating her acidity. Later, Bridget tells her granddaughter that she's ready to die now, but is worried about how Claudia will manage her finances after the pension is gone. Claudia kisses her grandmother and goes to the kitchen to prepare food for her. However, all of the lights in the house suddenly go out, and when Claudia returns, she discovers that her grandma has passed away. Claudia starts sobbing and wonders how her business will survive without the pension money. However, Rosanna seems to have an idea that could save her business. She asks Claudia to freeze her grandmother's body so that the pension money keeps coming in. In that way, Claudia can at least keep her business afloat. And after receiving the final payment, she can finally hold a funeral for her grandmother. At first, Claudia rejects her idea, saying it's crazy to use her dead grandmother for money. However, after giving it some thought, Claudia realizes that she has no other option to prevent her business from going bankrupt. They then decide to place Grandma in the freezer and postpone the funeral for the time being. Next, the girls remove everything from the freezer and place Grandma inside. They're terrified that her body will be revealed, so they stuff her with lots of steak and pasta. After they finish, Claudia puts photos and candlesticks over the freezer so the people won't suspect anything. The next day, Claudia visits the company that owes her money, but the manager informs her that she won't receive payment for this month since her file is on a waiting list. However, the manager advises her to bribe him to speed up the payment process. Hearing this, the miserably broke Claudia gets furious and berates him for his shameless behavior. Just then, the armor kept behind Claudia suddenly moves, revealing Simone, who has been keeping an eye on the corrupt officer. And after catching him with all the proof, Simone takes him into custody. On the other hand, Claudia hurries after him with a paper because she wants the manager's signature to release the money. She begs the guy for his signature before he goes to jail, but Simone argues that would be against the law. As they're arguing, Claudia unintentionally pushes Simone, causing him to slide down the stairs and collapse on the floor. Now, Claudia is in serious trouble since assaulting a police officer is a major offense. Later, Claudia hurries to the hospital to see the injured Simone in the hopes that he'll drop the charges. It turns out that Simone has developed feelings for Claudia the moment he first laid eyes on her. He immediately tears up the indictment and decides not to pursue Claudia's recklessness. Meanwhile, Simone's co-workers are outside the room watching them talking cheerfully. It turns out that he's developed workaholic tendencies as a result of his divorce. But the side effects of his divorce sometimes bleed over, and he forces his co-workers to put in extra hours each day against their will. Therefore, the group tries to take advantage of this opportunity by trying to set them up as a couple. Later that evening, they present Simone with all of Claudia's information. And on top of that, Claudia is told that her grandmother's pension is delayed for some time, so that Simone can visit her while pretending to investigate the situation. The next day, Simone dresses up and heads to Claudia's place. But on the other hand, Claudia is concerned about the dead body inside the house and becomes extremely nervous throughout the interaction. However, Simone just says a few words of greeting and leaves. Now, Claudia is afraid about someone discovering the truth, so she discusses it with her friends. After a brief conversation, they decide to bury her grandmother as soon as possible. So, the next day, they take Grandma out of the freezer to defrost the dead body. Since it takes at least 15 hours to defrost the body, they start playing cards to pass the time. But in the meantime, Simone shows up at the house and notices Grandma sitting at the table. He greets the dead woman, but doesn't receive any response from the former speaker, Pelosi. Afraid of being caught, Claudia rushes him upstairs to her room, where Simone tells her that he genuinely likes her and asks her out on a date. Claudia is already dressed and ready for a date. The two of them then leave the house, 
and Simone spends the entire day talking about his work. Later, when Claudia makes a call to Rosanna to get an update on the situation, she finds out that the girls have placed the body back in the freezer again. After a long day of a boring date, they return home, but just as Simone is about to see her off, they're chased by some street dogs. They immediately enter the house, only to realize that the power has been cut off. Just when Claudia goes to get a candle, Simone opens the freezer with a flashlight, worried that the food might be spoiled. Claudia becomes so terrified that she goes to him and kisses him to divert his attention. She then brings him to her bedroom, where they start kissing passionately. But when Simone tries to escalate the situation, Claudia stops him, saying she's not ready. Seeing the fear in her eyes, Simone then gets up and leaves the house. Ever since that night, Simone has been restlessly texting her and pursuing her like crazy. But Claudia doesn't like him, so she devises a plan to get rid of him. On a date with him one evening, Claudia arrives in a revealing dress and a lot of makeup. She then behaves abnormally during the date and makes a big scene by fighting with other guests. A man punches Simone during the argument and they're thrown out of the restaurant. After that, Simone is terrified of her new personality and abruptly ends the date and rushes home. The next day, a man named Augusto arrives at the house, claiming to be Grandma's old friend. He says that he's been in the neighborhood for three days and hasn't seen her once. Claudia lies about her grandmother being on a trip, but Augusto doesn't believe her and threatens to contact the cops if he does not see her by tomorrow. Desperate to convince the old man, Claudia decides to dress up like her grandmother and wears makeup to look like her. Then she opens her door to Augusto, who does not seem to suspect anything, and instead, he starts pouring his love into her. It becomes clear that her grandmother and Augusto were engaged in extramarital affairs since they were young. But Claudia has had enough of this, so she lies to Augusto, saying she's found someone else and requests him to leave her alone. After he leaves, Claudia breathes a sigh of relief, but the doorbell of horror rings once again. It turns out to be Simone who has come to apologize to her. With the dress and the makeup, Simone assumes her to be the grandmother and expresses his feelings for Claudia. He says that he likes Claudia as a person, not just her appearance, and confesses that he'll always love her no matter what she becomes. Claudia is moved by his words and she also starts to feel for him. Then she asks him to wait a moment and rushes to the garage to remove her makeup. When she's ready with her real self, Claudia grabs Simone's collar and kisses him without saying a word. Following this, their relationship becomes official and the two go on a vacation to celebrate. When Simone's co-workers find out about their relationship, they're overjoyed and begin celebrating in the office. Meanwhile, throughout their vacation, Simone and Claudia get to know each other better. One day, Claudia asks him what happened with his ex-wife. Simone reveals that because she dodged a tax of 8,000 euros, he had to arrest her, and because of this, they ended up getting divorced. Then Simone tells Claudia to never compel him to choose between his duty and his love, because nothing will be above the law for him. A month later, Claudia returns from vacation and reveals to her friends that she's pregnant. She's worried that if Simone finds out about her grandmother's body, he might break up with her and arrest her. Paranoid about the entire situation, Claudia takes out her grandmother's body to bury her as soon as possible. But since it's not secure at home, the girls load Grandma into a van and get ready to transport her to the company warehouse. As they leave in the van, we see the girls somewhat relieved about the dead body situation. But soon after, they're approached by a police officer who asks them to open the van. The girls try to desperately cover up, but Simone appears and demands to check the van. But when the door opens, the girls are terrified to see that Grandma is not inside. It turns out that somewhere along the route, the speed breaker yanked the door open, causing Grandma in the wheelchair to roll out of the van. As she rolls down the town, Augusto notices this and starts following her. In the meantime, Margie accidentally discloses that the old woman is lost. And upon hearing this, Simone suspects that the girls must have stolen an old woman's statue and arrests them. Later, he brings them to another location and says that he's always suspected Claudia of hiding Grandma in the freezer. And after this incident, his suspicions have now been confirmed. Simone is now caught in a dilemma between his love and his duty. After much consideration, since he does not want his baby to be born in prison, then he immediately breaks up with Claudia and says that because of her, he's now an accomplice in a crime. However, to avoid drawing the attention of the police, they split up and search the town for the missing grandmother. Meanwhile, Grandma comes to a stop after falling in the forest and Augusto approaches her. When he realizes his lover is dead, Augusto tries to call the police. But before he could do that, he passes away from a heart attack. Sometime later, the girls eventually locate Grandma in the woods with a dead Augusto. As they try to take care of Augusto's dead body, they once again lose Grandma. 
The girls start to panic and inform Claudia of this, and they fear that they're now about to go to jail. But soon after that, the girls are relieved when they notice a wheelchair in front of Claudia's house. Meanwhile, a general officer and a few cops arrive looking for a fugitive, and they suspect that the person in the wheelchair is a criminal. But when they uncover the sheets, it turns out to be just a statue. Claudia has no idea what's happening. But when she returns home, she finds that her grandmother's body has been placed in her bed. It turns out that Simone found the body and brought it up to the house. He then apologizes to her for breaking up earlier, and they kiss each other. In the next scene, the girls and Simone attend Augusto's funeral, who passed away from a broken heart, literally. After the funeral, Rosanna and Margie inform Simone that Claudia's debt is still unpaid and that the baby is now due in a few months. Given that they cannot survive on Simone's salary alone, and since Claudia's business is also losing money, Simone decides to make a compromise and freeze Granny for a few months.